What is up guys, Rhythm Rider back again with another epic adventure. Today guys, I got this really cool abandoned restaurant. Not really sure how long it's been abandoned. Certainly looks like it's been for a, definitely a few years, but anyways guys, let's check it out. Look at this place, guys. Now, as you can see, there's some destruction. Not a lot, though, which is nice to see. You got your kitchen over there. This would be the window where the, the servers would come pick up the orders. And then, obviously, right here, we're in a great big dining area. I like that there's still curtains. You know, it's kind of got that old country-ish kind of feel. Oh, look at this. Got a record here. Huevos Rancheros, Huevos Rancheros, dig in. Huh, good look at this uh, sugar shaker. And then you got a salt shaker and there's still salt, some water in there, but look at that. And then you got snowflakes all along here. So the chances are this place closed down in the winter. It's pretty remote, so it's not surprising that a place like this couldn't last for a long time. Now you can probably you can probably hear a lot of cars in the background. It is on a fairly busy highway. Oh look guys, I found some food. A burger. Yeah, and here's some more Christmas decorations there. So this tells me that it's definitely probably been abandoned. Definitely probably. Definitely been abandoned since sometime around Christmas. But look at this. Like the kitchen's so sweet. All this stainless steel. That's worth big bucks. Look at, there's all sorts of uh, cookware still left behind. Hotel pans. Over here, you got the dish pit. It's crazy, you got still got dishes that just came out of the washer that are just sitting there. You got your apple juice and orange juice. This seems more like it was like a country grill kind of thing. You got your milk products right here. And then there's your spices, your shakers. So that would probably have hot chili peppers in it. And you got vinegar containers and more sugar. This thing right here. Communication worksheet, tables and chairs. Oh, so this is your kind of checklist for the servers after they're done their day. Oh, look at this. An old Canon camera. It's pretty frigged. We'll go to the rest of the restaurant after, guys, but let's go check out the rest of this kitchen. Because I did work in a kitchen for a couple years part-time, so I kind of kind of like it, checking them out. Wow, they got a great big flat top right there. And this would be your prep area, so you'd have like different toppings like lettuce, tomato, and stuff like that to build salads or burgers and sandwiches. And then this would be, you know, this is where you throw the orders up. So essentially this is the board. You call the orders here, the prep it. You got the guys down here on the grills. So here's a flat top. This looks like probably another flat top. Yeah. And then you've got one, two, three, four. So eight different types of burners there. And ovens. And lots of stuff still left behind. containers and stuff got some plates dish rags oh here's a big walk-in nothing in there but those units look like they're those refrigeration units look like they're in pretty good condition got another walk-in right here the boxes are all empty January 8, 10. So this probably has been closed down since 2010. Oh, look at this. A 
saber paintball gun. Guys, I don't know anything about paintball guns, but I feel this could be worth a bit of money. Press here. Nothing. Huh. Guys, if you know anything about paintball guns, let me know if that's worth anything. It's a saber paintball gun. Empty boxes. So this is probably another storage area. Because you got like, this would be condoms. You got sugars and stuff like that, salt. So stuff for the kitchen that didn't need to be refrigerated. What's in here? Got a bathroom. Just an electrical room right there. We're gonna continue on into the restaurant. So this looks like it'd probably be a private room because you got doors right there. And it's kind of off the kitchen so you could have your private parties in this room. Oh, look at this, a trap door into the basement. Well, we won't be going down there guys because I can see there's a Good couple inches of water. I don't know if you guys can see that on film. But let me try to zoom my light in. But yeah, there's there's a lot of water in there. We will not be going down there. So this looks like the railings off the stairs, which I'll show you guys in a second. Because they're pretty sweet stairs. This looks like another storage room. Nothing really in here. No motorcycle helmet up there. Yeah, just kind of random junk. Got the bathroom. We got what is up, guys? Ladies' bathroom. Men's room. Over here, this is odd because there's, I don't know if this counter was in here before, but it's clearly got a rough in for a sink. So that's kind of odd. And then check out these stairs. They're pretty sweet stairs. It's unfortunate that the railings have been destroyed, but it's still pretty cool. So this area, I'm, I'm, I'm not really sure if this was just a restaurant by itself, but it kind of looks like almost office-y stuff. Well, not office-y, but maybe like, um, kind of like a store. It's really hard to say. And see, you got the sink right here too. Like, I don't even, I don't get it. But here's a nice view of the whole place. Big, big rooms. High ceilings. But as we come over here, this, so this is, this is that private party room that I showed you guys earlier. And then over here, that's the front door. So that's pretty much it down here, guys. We're gonna go upstairs now. Because there is an upstairs. Not really sure what we're gonna find up here. Probably don't need my big light right now. But, ah, there's tons of like void checks and everything. Well, it's a country store based on what I'm seeing here. I don't want to put the name on, guys, because as you can see, it's been damaged a bit already. I don't want it set on fire. It was a country store, so it had, like, you could get snacks and food and, you know, restaurant, obviously, stuff, but you could also pick up just random stuff. Oh, there's a bed. There's a very good chance someone could have been squatting in here. But fortunately, right now, it doesn't seem that's the case. That weird little cubby room back there. And this is all storage. It's just like they just threw stuff in here that they didn't want. It's not even put in any sort of order. Just a friggin' mess. And it kind of does look like kids have been hanging out in here drinking, 
smashing, graffitiing, as you can see. So this whole area kind of seems office-y. Yeah, we got some, you know, some shifts here. Huh. Or I guess that schedule is not shifts. Same thing. So, what do we got over here? Whoa! Sega Genesis. That's awesome. Oh, and there's Huevos Rancheros. Dig in. There's the uh, the album cover for that record. And look at this old TV and DVD player. That's so funny. Yeah, lots of stuff. Oh, look at the filing cabinets. All sorts of records. Counting, accident costs, food handler courses. Wow. So obviously, guys, upstairs was pretty much their office area. It's actually pretty big. What do we got back here? Oh, wow. Look at that paint peel. That's beauty. Once over here, another storage area. And again, it just seems like stuff's just been fired in here with no real organization or anything. What's in here? Oh, it stinks in here. There's a bathroom. Wow, it smells terrible in there. All right, guys. Well, that seems to be about it for this location. Really cool abandoned country store. Um, lots of stuff inside. The kitchen area was really sweet. The big rooms, the stairs. So anyways, guys, tell me what you think in the comments down below. If you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe. Smash the like button. And remember, guys, always come back because Rhythm Rider always has that epic shit. All right. Thanks for watching. Peace. <laughs>